Hello, race fans. As we all know, Lance Stroll's comeback from injury has been underwhelming, with his teammate Fernando Alonso finishing ahead of him in every race. But the fight is far from over, and a well-known F1 pundit has predicted an intense rivalry between Stroll and Alonso as they compete for the top spot at Aston Martin. So let's not waste any time and talk about the latest drama at Aston Martin. And if you want to learn about some bad news for the team as they attempt to challenge Red Bull's lead, make sure to watch until the very end of this video. Let's jump straight in. In the ongoing power struggle at Aston Martin, Lance Stroll has been instructed to issue a stern warning to Fernando Alonso. Before four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel retired and was replaced by Fernando Alonso, Stroll had been vying with the German for the number one seat for the previous two years. Thanks to the rapid turn in performance over the off-season, Alonso has on the podium in the first three races of the season. Stroll, meanwhile, has been getting back to full health after a pre-season cycling accident almost sidelined him for the season opening race in Bahrain, where he finished sixth. An engine problem ended Stroll's hopes in Saudi Arabia before he finished fourth behind Alonso at the Australian Grand Prix earlier this month. After qualifying behind Alonso in all three races, the 24-year-old risked being overshadowed by his more seasoned teammate. In order to become Aston Martin's number one driver this season and effectively end Alonso's career, former world champion and current F1 commentator Damon Hill says Stroll needs to make his ambition clear, as Hill explained on the F1 Nation podcast. His form has to be maintained, sustained over time. It's no good, just a blip, a one-off event. So he'd have to make it his ambition this year. He'd have to set his goal as ending Fernando Alonso's career. Now, that sounds brutal, but that's what George Russell is trying to do against Lewis Hamilton. That's what Nico Hülkenberg is trying to do with Kevin Magnussen. You have to establish yourself as the undisputed king number one in that team. However, after an impressive start to the season, Alonso has made it clear that he has no plans to retire and has issued a warning to podium rivals Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Instead of contemplating retirement, Alonso told Bang & Olufsen's YouTube channel that a third word title is in reach. That's why I keep racing, obviously. You know the challenge is big. You know that you need to obviously overcome some difficulties and some top teams that are now on top of the sport. But yeah, I race every, every day, and I train every day thinking that the third title is possible. I'm still fresh. I'm still motivated. I still enjoy every single day. I wake up in the morning and I'm happy of what I'm doing. So yeah, there is a few more years, I think, for me, and hopefully with a title contender in the future. When he retires, the veteran Spaniard will be remembered as one of F1's greatest drivers. Alonso will turn 42 this summer, but he is still one of the best drivers on the grid. He's already secured three podium finishes in 2023, with Aston Martin performing significantly better than last year. Another question is whether they'll have a car capable of truly challenging Red Bull for the rest of the season. But Alonso hasn't lost his competitive spirit and he's still aiming for that elusive third world title. Max Verstappen remains the man to beat in Formula 1, but Lewis Hamilton can never be ruled out if Mercedes can resolve their issues. However, Alonso has indicated that he has no plans to retire anytime soon with the hope that Aston Martin will provide him with a car capable of challenging for race victories on a regular basis. With a chuckle, he added, I would love to know the answer as well. I think when I started in F1, my idea was to be for seven or eight years, and then I won two championships and I thought, I will maybe race one or two more years and then I will stop. That was my idea, and now I find myself with the longest career ever in Formula 1, and I'm still fresh and still motivated. I still enjoy every single day. I wake up in the morning and I'm happy of what I'm doing. So yeah, there is a few more years, I think, for me, and hopefully with a title contender in the future. But I think the only thing that matters is to win and break the record of championships. Alonso's positive attitude is still certainly good news for Aston Martin, as the Spaniard has been able to take the team under his wing in a way that his predecessor could not. Vettel announced midway through last year's championship that it would be his final season in Formula 1, citing a desire to devote more time to his family and causes close to his heart. Within days, Alonso had signed a multi-year contract with Aston Martin, which has already paid dividends with the double world champion on a hat-trick of P3s this season. After winning his third podium in a row in Melbourne, he was asked if he thought Vettel would regret retiring giving Aston Martin's form. Alonso responded, I don't know if he could have made the Aston Martin that fast, so you never know. Speed, though, isn't the only thing Alonso has brought to the Aston Martin table team, boss Mike Crack recently talking up his enthusiasm and seemingly inexhaustible energy. But although Alonso stated after his third podium of the season that he does not know if Vettel could have made the Aston Martin that fast, the Spaniard is still reaping the benefits of work done by Vettel and Lance Stroll last season. The Aston Martin on the track today is a development of last year's Spanish Grand Prix upgrade, which was the first race in which the Silverstone team went down the Red Bull bodywork route. 
Such was Vettel's commitment to the team and his desire to leave them on the right footing that Mike Crack revealed that he had to kick him out of the office on the Friday night in Mexico. That was Vettel's third last race weekend. It was the team boss saying that without a doubt Vettel deserves some of the credit for the car Alonso is racing. I think he has his merits in where the AMR 23 is today, said the German. We had many meetings last year and he gave us a hint, do this or do that or do not this with this car, so I think he has his merits there. Nonetheless, Aston Martin's work has only just begun. By shaving around one and a half seconds off during the winter, the Silverstone team has jumped to second place in the Constructors' Championship ahead of Mercedes and Ferrari, while Fernando Alonso is an impressive third in the driver's standings. The fast pace of the AMR 23 has pushed Mission 33 to the forefront, with Alonso aiming for his first win in a decade. However, team boss Crack admits that there is still a significant gap between his team's F1 cars and those of Red Bull. There is a difference between confidence and arrogance, he told German media. We are substantially behind Red Bull. Even if they stood still, a gap would be too big to catch up with them in one season. Of course, we take the fastest car as reference. We just don't go crazy and constantly look at the distances with respect to Ferrari, Mercedes and Alpine. We have to be realistic. We have to look up, but we also have to look at third and fourth place. Things can change very quickly in the championship. We're not far ahead of Mercedes. As a team, you can quickly drop down the leaderboard. This season, Aston Martin has scored 65 points, 45 of which have come from Alonso's hat-trick of P3s. They are, however, 58 points behind Red Bull, with Mercedes breathing down the next just 9 points behind. Crack admits that after making significant gains of the off-season, Toto Wolff saying Aston Martin's gains are much as 2 seconds, there is now less room for further gains. However, Alonso, the only driver to share the podium with Max Verstappen in all three races, does not believe the gap is as wide as it appears. Although he acknowledges that today Aston Martin being podium contenders is the maximum pace of the car and the ability of the team as a whole, he is dreaming of challenging Verstappen for what would be his 33rd race win and perhaps a championship in a couple of years. We are not at a stage to win a championship, but we want a time to reach that target. That is why I came back to Formula 1 in 2021, after a couple of years out. I thought the new regulations coming in last season would mix it up, which they have. Yes, Red Bull are dominating, but you don't see big gaps. All the field is covered by 1.2, 1.3 seconds, so maybe in a few years, we will be right up there. But what are your thoughts? Can Aston Martin make another huge performance leap and compete with the Red Bull for wins this season? Will Stroll and Alonso develop a fierce rivalry? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join our incredible community of Formula 1 fans. While you're at it, click the bell icon to receive notifications of our upcoming uploads.